Yo, what it's up? All right. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. You actually filming? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, don't worry. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What's up? And welcome. This video is the start of a series focused on building extensions. If you don't know what extensions are, it's the ability to directly customize the Studio Pro IDE and truly make it your own. There's no limit to what you can create. From context menu items to your own dockable panes, anything goes if you can make it happen. To kick off this playlist, we're starting with the basics. In this first video, we will be setting up your development environment so that you can go on to create amazing things. So let's get into it. So extensions are built using C-sharp. We recommend using Visual Studio for this exercise, um, but you're able to use any IDE of your choice. But for the purposes of this series, I will be using Visual Studio 2022. If you've never used Visual Studio before, don't worry, we're gonna download and set it up now. And you can find a link for it in the description of this, or just search for it on Google, it's free to use. Okay, so once you have it running, the important configuration here is to enable .NET Desktop Development, this one, and the one next to it as well, .NET Multi-Platform App UI Development. So as long as these two are checked, it's going to be okay. So once it's downloading, it's going to probably take a while to download. It's about 22 gigs, and depending on your internet speed, it can take quite a while. So pause the video and come back once it's finished downloading. Welcome back. Okay, so now that it's finished installing, we need to create a new project just to get started. We're not actually going to do any coding until the next video, but we need to start a new project so we can continue setting up. All right, so I'm going to choose new project, and then you can search for C-sharp, uh, C sharp class library and click it and click next. Now we need to choose a .NET version. Um, we want .NET 8 and this is important since the release of 10.12 it has to be .NET 8. Confirm everything and we can say open the project. Of course Mendix has made some tools for us to use while we're developing. We just need a package manager to get them. In Visual Studio, we have NuGet to do this. It's underneath the top level menu over here underneath tools. If it's not there, don't worry, just click get tools and features and it should be available if you search for NuGet. But once you have it though, click on this option over here. We want to manage NuGet packages for solution. That's gonna open up this window over here and we just need to switch it from installed to browse over here in the tabs. And then we can simply search for Mendix. You should get this result, which is mendix.studiopro.extensions API. And this package is the extensions API made available to download into your project. If you would like to read the API docs for this, there is API docs on GitHub. And you can also find some examples to go with it if you want to download some code samples while you're at it. Anyway, uh, back to getting set up. So click on this install button over here and this label over here is going to change and it will say uninstall now. So Visual Studio is all set up now and we just need to make sure you can test your extension in Studio Pro. To do this, we need to enable a feature flag, which is quite simple. So here I have a shortcut to my Mendix version. This is 10.12.1. So we need to right click on this shortcut and we're gonna say properties. And then in this field over here that says target, we need to add at the end of this line. So we wanna say dash dash, enable dash extensions dash development. And this is going to tell Studio Pro that we are developing some extensions and it's gonna turn this feature on for us to use. That's everything you need to get set up. In the next video, we're gonna get started with a basic menu item extension, which is an extension for the top level menu in Studio Pro. That's all for this video. Until next time, I'm Ryan Mocky, and this is bye for now.